Hi, I'm Laura from YoungWritersWorkshops.com. I'm going to talk about how to repair a book. Um, now, one thing to keep in mind is if you're talking about a collector's item, a rare book, you want to really go to a, a professional um, because it's a, such a sensitive um, art that you really want to have someone who is not going to cause any sort of damage work with their book. But if, if you're just trying to repair some books that are um, important to you but not necessarily uh, have a high value um, to collectors, here's some things you can do. Um, one of the um, tricks is, um, one of the things you really want to avoid, of course, is any kind of moisture on your book. So if a book does get a little bit moist or is exposed to um, humidity, um, there's some tricks you can do to make sure that they that you can repair them. Um, one of the things you can do is um, use a hair dryer, just a common hair dryer, to blow the book dry. You would stand it up upright, open it up, and dry the pages until it's completely dry. Um, then you'd want to follow up also by pressing the book. And one thing you can use is just a regular ace bandage to wrap the book to make sure that it doesn't warp. Um, by wrapping the book tightly with the bandage. You'll help it to preserve its shape. It won't be able to bend um, in response to the exposure to moisture. Um, another common thing to have happen to books is for it to come unattached from the, the for the spine to come attached, unattached from the cover. Um, if you're going to try to repair that kind of um, damage to your book. You want to be sure to use an acid-free glue that won't damage the paper. Um, so just using an acid-free glue stick, applying it to something like a barbecue skewer um, or knitting needle, anything that's um, thin and, can, and long can be inserted. Um, so I would just put the glue on my um, skewer and then apply the glue all the way down the spine. And then again, you're going to want to press it. You could use your bandage or um, anything to bind it together so that it will stay together and um, repair that separation. Um, another um, common kind of repair that you might make is removing pencil marks from um, inside the book and just be sure to use a white eraser um, to remove any marks. Carefully um, get rid of all the eraser dust too by using a little bit of a little brush um, because you don't want to leave the eraser dust in the book that will end up um, causing further damage. Um, so those are just a few minor repairs that you can do um, to repair books.